Welcome to this week's Performance TV. Vehicles go through so much with all of the elements, everything that we put them through, and sometimes what's in the motor causes rust. And that's where David's going to come in and help us. Hey, David from Evapo Rust, you guys also have a product that can help us take care of the radiator, the engine block, the heads, and get rid of that rust. That's right, Kathy. We've got Thermocure, and it's really easy to use. Uh, what we're going to do with this truck is we're just going to drain the coolant, and which we've already done down here. And you can see that's pretty rusty coolant. And when you drain the coolant, you want to be careful with it because it's got ethylene glycol in it, which is poisonous. So you want to make sure you've got it out of the way where no pets or kids can get into it. And you want to dispose of that properly. Absolutely. Now, once you get it drained, it's very simple to use Thermocure. You take one quart of this product and we're just going to dump it in. Nice and easy. Do we need to add any water or anything like that to it, David? Once we get this completely dumped in here, we're going to add water. We're going to fill it up to the level. And then we're just going to drive the car around. Okay. It'll protect against overheating. It, we want to watch it in cold weather because it doesn't protect against uh, freezing. Oh, well, sure. But it will keep your car from overheating. The reason this is going to make your car run cooler and better is rust acts as an insulator that keeps the uh, heat from going out of the block and into the coolant. So once we get this thing de-rusted, your car is going to run cooler. It's going to run better. You're not going to have overheating. And this is really common in a lot of older cars where people have put uh, different, just water, use water instead of coolant. Sure. And we'll let that go. And then we'll probably have to start it and let it get all into the, uh, into the block. But, uh, that's really all there is to it. Well, does it does it matter how much we drive it around? Does it depend on if we have like, you know, aluminum heads and block versus having, you know, an, an older vehicle? Not at all. It's not going to affect any of the gaskets, the aluminum. It's not going to hurt anything in this car. All it's going to find is rust, eat the rust, and then it's going to pull the rust into solution. So you're not going to have flakes of rust clogging up the, the passageways in your engine. You're, it's going to become liquid rust. And then you're going to drain that liquid rust out of the engine and then you're going to replace it with good coolant and your engine's going to run great. Oh, it's going to run uh, so much better. And some things, of course, we want to keep in mind, too, is when we're doing all of this to make sure we don't have any air pockets or anything like that when we, when we get all done because that can definitely mess up your gauges when you're going down the road. What we put in, about a couple of gallons of water? Yeah, it's going to be about a couple. It's going to depend on, you know, each one of these uh, cooling systems is going to be a little bit different, but uh, just fill it up to the recommended area. The difference in water is not going to be that big of a difference to a thermocure. Okay, well, you know what, David, now that we have this in here, let's get this fired up, get it driven around for a while and, and get it up to temperature, and we'll check back in later on the show to finish all of this up. We'll have more for you here on Performance TV right after this. Well, David, we've had an opportunity to drive the heck out of this truck so that way we can get everything going through the system and look what has come out. Yeah, we got a lot of rust out of this thing, didn't we? Yeah, uh, so. kind of amazing just in the amount of time that worked. Yeah, it, it'll, it, with the heat and the pressure, it really speeds things up. So what we've done now is we've drained all that. And now we're down to, let's put in some fresh uh, coolant and let's get this thing going again. Well, just to kind of remind folks a little bit about why we wanted to do this to start with, it's because even with putting our coolant in, it's going to help the engine run cooler by getting all of that rust out. Right. Rust is like an insulator. So it keeps the heat from flowing from the metal into the coolant and it, it makes a barrier there. And it, that's why your engine overheats. I mean, the coolant's in there. It, there's no reason for it not to be there except the rust is keeping it from getting there. Absolutely. Well, we've got that out now, so what do we All need right. to do next? We mix our coolant 50-50 with water, and we pour it in. This is going to be probably a pretty terrible pour, but we're going to go with it anyway. I trust you. You'll, you'll do a good job over All there. All right. We've got to clean all that up because you don't want antifreeze laying around. Absolutely not. not. Not on the engine, not on the floor, and you definitely want to dispose of all of this. With our normal evapo rust. We don't have to worry about it, but because this has been mixed with some antifreeze, we really need to keep in mind how to properly dispose of this. Yeah, we need to dispose of that with the antifreeze for sure. I believe we're getting there. How often would you suggest that someone would, would run the thermo cure through the system? You know, we suggest when it starts overheating. I mean, there's if it's not overheating, you probably don't have enough of a rust problem to worry about. So just when you start having these problems, 
put it in, let it go, and uh, take care of that problem. And it only takes one bottle and just a couple of gallons of water. That's Drive right. it around for just a, a few days and you will see amazing results. David, thanks so much for joining us.